Hello and welcome to the first part of the advanced scripting course for After Effects here at FX PhD. My name is Matthias Müll and in this course I really want to take your After Effects scripting skills to the next level. So if you have some basic experience with After Effects scripting or if you have attended my basic scripting course here at FX PhD, then this is exactly the right course for you to go one step further. In this course we have three big things that we want to cover. First, some tools that help you make your workflows more efficient. Second, we want to learn how to write clean, modular, reusable code that you can also use to write bigger scripting projects. And of course, we have uh, practical examples. We do some real scripting work right inside of After Effects. So for the tools, we are first going to look at the Atom text editor, yeah, because X10 script toolkit is really an old beast and it's not really a perfect uh, editor to write your code in. So Atom is a free and very powerful alternative that comes with great features like, for example, automatic uh, code indentation. But this very powerful editor is obviously not mainly developed to do scripting in After Effects. So we have to do some adjustments to its configuration to make it work smooth with After Effects and to do things like, for example, running After Effects f uh, right from within the editor. You can see I can click here and now my script is directly launched in After Effects. This is the Atom text editor. Next we are going to look at Git. Git is a very powerful version control system and it essentially turns your source code into a time machine where at any point in time you can say I want to go back to a previous point in time and I want at any point in time exactly see which changes uh, happened in the code. So Git for version control and Atom as your text editor are two really great and fully freely available uh, tools that really help you a lot in your scripting. Then, in order to avoid writing spaghetti code that is not easy to maintain and to modify later, I show you how to build your own library of reusable functions, how to keep your code modular. And for this, we are going to look at first uh, how to use functions effectively, but also at more advanced patterns like the module pattern or the constructor pattern that will make your code way more modular and that we can even tightly integrate into our Atom editor. As a practical example, we are going to continue the lower third script from the beginner scripting course. We learn how to embed images into your user interface, do stuff like opening URLs right from within your script, and you learn how to read data directly from spreadsheet files to automate your workflows inside of After Effects.